Today as I was running <clears throat> for my regular morning run, normally I'll do 5k, today I did 10k and um, I was thinking, you know, a lot of the habits, a lot of the daily habits that I have developed really are quite easy for me and very natural and of course that's what uh, a ritual is, is when a habit becomes so automatic um, that it is a ritual and that I actually um, notice and feel worse when I don't do it. But that's not how we feel when we start a new habit or start, want to change something and do something that we haven't been doing before. And because there was a time when I wasn't exercising 40 minutes, five days a week. There was a time when I couldn't not have chocolate or not have cheese and biscuits or not have ice cream and uh, after dinner. And uh, never say never, but at the moment, it's very easy for me to not eat those things and not do those things. So I thought I would just share a little formula that might help you to inspire you to think about what kind of habit could you start tomorrow that's going to help you become a better person, a happier person, more fulfilled, more in control of your controllables. And um, it's only important to you if, if that's something you want, of course. Um, and for me, it is very important. I want to live a long, happy, productive life. And that's why I've developed the habit of putting my health first. So what is this three part formula? One is what we believe. Two is what we do, so our behaviors. And three is our sense of identity. How do we define ourselves? Who do we, who are we? And how do we see ourselves? How do we see ourselves today? And who do we see ourselves becoming? Do we see ourselves becoming fitter, healthier, happier, living a longer productive life? Do we see ourselves becoming more successful, becoming more self-sustaining, becoming more fulfilled, more meaningful in our work? Do we see that as a reality? Do we relate to that identity as the, as the me, or in your case, the you that you are becoming? And how do you see yourself today? Do you see yourself as someone who can change, who can make a new habit, who can start a new behavior? And this time you're gonna to stick to it. This time you're gonna follow it through often enough, long enough for it to work its magic. That's your identity piece. It's a big meaty piece of the work I do in my executive coaching uh, practice and with my online programs because it's just not given enough focus and enough detail and it's not enough professional teaching about exactly this point. So definitely my, my secret source, my superpower area of work. The other two elements we're very familiar with, aren't we? What we believe, what we believe to be true, what, what the thoughts are that we focus on. So I believe, for example, that when I exercise five days a week, 40 minutes each day, I am going to have a, firstly, I'm gonna feel better. I'm going to have a more productive day and I'm also taking one more small step towards a long, happy, productive, healthy life. That's what I believe. And I support that belief by not only naming the action, but doing the action. So the action of running 40 minutes, five days a week is enough to give me that outcome of healthy, happier, more productive day, healthier, happier, longer, more productive life. So that's my two cents worth for today. Three things to focus on. What do you believe? What is it that you are doing to support that belief? Because if you don't do the action to support the belief, then the belief itself isn't going to work. You get that, don't you? 
Like the universe is not going to give you what you say you want if you don't take action towards it. It, it. it just doesn't work that way. So stop kidding yourself. And it creates dissonance if you don't actually do the action that supports the belief you say you want to have. And that then feeds into your identity and how you see yourself. And if you are overrun by negative, damning, self-doubt and, um, uh, uh, and, and destructive thoughts and beliefs, please reach out, get some help. Ask for help, go get that fixed because that is enough to drive you into some very, very dark places and make very dark choices. So our beliefs, our actions, how we see ourselves today in our skin today and what we believe and what we're doing about the future me, the future you in the weeks, months and years to come. So it's all interconnected and interrelated and whatever you do, get out and move and, uh, and check in with yourself and see what are you believing, what are you doing and how are you seeing yourself. That's it for today. Bye for now.